Hi, in this video, I'll show you how CTI, Computer Telephony Integration, will work into your SAP Cloud for Customer system and give you some hints about the most important setups. CTI, or Computer Telephony Integration, is an application provided by a vendor to handle incoming and outgoing phone calls to a system. You have the option to integrate third-party CTI with SAP Service Cloud using either a third-party adapter or a widget. Multiple CTI systems can be configured for the same SAP Cloud for Customer tenant. Computer telephony integration vendors are mainly represented by SAP Contact Center, Avaya, Cisco, Genesis, and New Voice Media. If you are using SAP Contact Center as your CTI provider, you no longer have to use the CTI adapter plugin, but simply activate CTI integration from Live Activity Configuration. Live Activity Search in the Fiori client works in the same way for inbound and outbound calls, and it provides you with an option to identify customers for incoming calls. You can also enable chat integration in the Live Activity pane. Inbound calls are achieved using a URL with some specific parameters, client ID, caller's number, number dialed, ticket ID, registered product serial number, email, and so on, that your client-side application passes to the SAP Cloud for Customer CTI client adapter. Outbound calls are achieved by using a DLL which passes the dial-out phone number from SAP Cloud for Customer to your CTI solution and in which you have included the necessary dial-out logic. The fastest method of integration is widget-based integration, where you have a widget embedded inside the system. This makes it easy for the service agent to search the customer's details within the system while on the call. Activities such as accept or reject phone calls occur in the embedded widget. Remember, you need the widget to be created by the vendor and provided to you. In today's example, we'll use the SAP Contact Center as the vendor. The prerequisite to this tutorial is that you already have a CTI implementation as well as the URL that points to the CTI application. Let's look at that configuration first, and then its usage. I log into the system as an administrator. I navigate to the Administrator Work Center and click on Service and Social. Under Communication Channels, I click on Live Activity Configuration. As I'm using the SAP Contact Center as my CTI vendor, I select that. I provide a unique identifier. In the Provider URL field, I paste the URL provided to me by the vendor. Next, I look at the Fiori Client Settings. I want the agent to have control over the calls, so I check Provider Control as On. I want to allow the agent to search all fields of the objects relevant to the customer, so I keep this flag on as well. In the field labeled Communication System ID, I fill in an identifier for the external CTI vendor. You need to have the communication system set up and active inside Cloud for Customer. If a single caller option is identified in the call, I can optionally mark Open Caller Detail View or Open Customer Hub. We only check the last one. I check Open Details automatically for incoming communication, which automatically opens details in the Live Activity screen or the Ticket Details when you receive a call. You can also allow moving and resizing of the notifications. In Search Objects, I can configure the type of information available to the service agent to search during his call with the customer. I add service tickets and some more relevant objects here.
you can configure the dimensions of the widget in the Provider Control dimension. I'll keep the default settings. Then I click on Save. The CTI integration is now complete. To learn more, please read our admin guide available at help.sap.com. Next, let me show you how this integration works. I log in as a service agent. Let's say there's a scenario where the customer Oliver Smith has purchased a mountain bike helmet. When he opens the box, he realizes that bike helmet has some scratches. He calls the customer care number. As a service agent, I notice that there is an incoming call notification on the CTI widget. I notice that the system has identified the caller by his phone number. The details of the customer and the customer hub are also automatically opened. I accept the call and proceed to speak with the customer. Now I'm taken to the live activity screen where I'm shown the details of the customer as well as the product he's purchased. I take down notes during the call and I'll later create a service ticket for this issue. Here I can also search for other data relevant to the customer. The system creates a phone activity and automatically links it to the customer details. It's saved here. After a few days, the backend team informs me that the bike helmet the customer wanted has been replaced and will be shipped to his address within five days. I use the Pick to Call option to make an outbound call to my customer, Oliver Smith. To do this, I go to the customer's details and click the phone number provided. The customer receives the call and I inform him about the shipment of the new bike helmet. I update the notes to the phone call activity. That wraps it up for this demo. Thanks for watching, and for more videos on SAP Customer Experience Solutions, please visit microlearning.opensap.com.